Hyundai and Kia have created a super cool wheel with a built-in gear thingy for electric cars. This amazing new thing will make the inside space bigger and allow car designers to be more creative with how they set up the seats and stuff. It's like a wheel with a gear inside it that helps the car go. This special gear can move up and down and sideways so even if the road's bumpy, the wheel still works really well. This cool setup, along with small electric motors for each wheel means there's more space in the middle where the wheels are. That extra space can be used for more batteries, storage, or making the inside of the car roomier. The company says this gear thingy can work with wheels from 4 to 25 inches, but we don't know yet when or in which cars they'll use it. Meizu introduced the world's lightest augmented reality glasses called MyView. They weigh only 43 grams. These glasses do a lot of cool stuff. Play music, help with directions, make calls, show real-time translations, how active you are, watch videos, chat with a virtual assistant, and more. All this info shows up on the glasses' lenses using a tiny projector inside. You can control the glasses by talking to them or swiping on the frame. They also have speakers for cool sound and microphones to cancel out noise during calls. The built-in battery lasts up to 8 hours, which should cover a whole day. Cool, right? Unlike the previous invention, these AI glasses by Cornell University engineers can understand silent or very quiet commands from their owner. They use sound perception and artificial intelligence acting like a mini sonar, like a bat's echolocation. Here's how they work. Tiny speakers on the frame send out sound waves that humans can hear. These bounce off the moving mouth of the user and get picked up by built-in microphones. Then, the AI processes these signals in real time and turns them into digital commands that the device understands. The signal processing happens in the user's smartphone, keeping the glasses light and small. In this version, the system can understand up to 31 silent or very quiet commands from the owner. And now, not so pleasant news for those seriously worried about a robot uprising. Engineers at IHMC Robotics and Boardwalk Robotics conducted test trials with the human-like robot Nadia in an unusual role, boxing. Despite not having a head, the machine accurately landed punches on the boxing pads of its sparring partner, played by one of the researchers. At present, a human remotely controls the robot boxer using special sensors and a virtual reality headset. However, developers mention that in the future, the robot could become fully autonomous. The authorities in Detroit and Electrion Wireless have launched the first wireless charging road for electric vehicles in the USA. Now, car owners won't have to worry about their battery range or searching for charging stations. Cars can charge while parked or even while driving on the road. The technology involves installing special induction coils beneath the road surface. These coils activate only when a vehicle equipped with Electron's special receiver moves over them. Once such a car is on the road, the coils transfer electricity to it through a magnetic field, charging its battery. According to developers, this initiative will also help reduce reliance on large batteries, significantly cutting down the costs of manufacturing electric vehicles. Recently, in Australia, they tested technology that allows soldiers to control robot dogs solely using their brains. They placed a biosensor on the operator's head that detects brain signals. The soldier had to focus on blinking white squares on a monitor screen, each square representing a specific location where the robot dog had to go. An artificial intelligence decoder interpreted the brain signals received from the operator's visual cortex and transmitted the corresponding command to the robot dog, which then successfully executed it. To send clear signals, the operator had to undergo two sessions, each lasting eight hours. The Stator LE electric scooter is a unique transportation device with an unusual design that can reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. 
One of its notable features is its unconventional structure. Lacking traditional forks on the wheel and having a one-sided handlebar shaped like a curved tube. It's powered by a 1,000-watt brushless motor built into the rear wheel hub, and its battery system is situated under the rider's feet. The scooter boasts a claimed range of 10 to 20 miles and requires up to 4 hours for a full charge. Among its additional options is the ability to start using a standard key or a wireless RFID remote. The electric scooter offers three power modes, catering to riders with varying levels of riding experience. Ukrainian director Andrei Staitiev has developed and tested a versatile motorized camera cart called the Hyper Dolly. Its main feature includes remote control capability and several autonomous movement modes. For instance, the cart can move back and forth between points A and B during shooting or smoothly travel along a defined radius. Additionally, the device can autonomously start and stop the camera while moving according to preset parameters. It's powered by an electric motor running on two batteries, has a 5-hour battery life, and can carry up to 26.4 pounds. The remote control range extends up to 328 feet. The base version of the device is reported to cost $1,700. Researchers at Oxford have discovered a new way to administer vaccines without using needles. During experiments, they combined vaccine molecules with tiny proteins capable of delivering the medication to the upper skin layers using ultrasound. The method was tested on mice by applying the vaccine to the skin surface. Under the influence of ultrasound waves, the vaccine penetrated the upper skin layers where special proteins triggered the formation of bubbles filled with the vaccine. Upon further ultrasound exposure, the bubbles ruptured, releasing the vaccine. Scientists are still unsure about how this method will work on human skin, but they are actively researching this process. Daymac is the world's fastest three-wheeled electric car capable of accelerating from 0 to 62 miles per hour in a record-breaking 1.8 seconds. In its most powerful configuration, the electric car reaches a maximum speed of 130 miles per hour. These incredible stats come from its lightweight carbon fiber body and a 200 horsepower electric motor. Among other features, the record holder has a small solar panel for minor recharging, built-in anti-theft system, wireless charging, autonomous driving capabilities, and automatic door opening function. In terms of safety, the electric car is top-notch with three-point seat belts and four airbags to minimize the risk of injury in accidents. Depending on the model, the car's range varies from 186 to 300 miles. Prices range from $19,995 to $149,000. After the explosion at the Japanese nuclear power plant Fukushima 1, there was a major challenge in assessing the scale of the destruction. The problem was the radiation and a large amount of debris. Out of seven underwater robots sent by researchers to the disaster site, only one, known as the Little Sunfish, successfully tackled this task. The device is radiation resistant measuring 11.8 inches in length and 5.1 inches in diameter. It's equipped with five propellers and a camera with lighting. The robot can rotate 180 degrees, providing a complete view of the surrounding environment. It's controlled by four operators through a cable attached to its body. If you fancy living in the dense woods amidst the mountains of Georgia at a height of 60 feet above ground, the River Forest Lookout Project might be just for you. It's a structure built from two shipping containers perched on metal stands at treetop level. Located in Whitfield County, the project was constructed by Mark Derenthal. It has the style of a fire lookout tower. That was the creator's inspiration. The house is entirely self-sufficient. Water comes from a well. There's a gas stove with two burners running on propane, and heating is provided by a fireplace with a chimney or electric heaters. 
In one container, there's an open living space with panoramic windows, a kitchen table, and a double bed. From here, there's a stunning view overlooking a vast 14-acre forest and the mountains. China's Unitree Robotics unveiled a new robot dog called the Unitree B1. But this robopup stands out from the rest. It's fully protected against water and dust according to the IP68 standard, allowing it to submerge underwater and move along the pool floor. The key condition is to keep its control antenna above the surface. This metal dog is equipped with a Leica camera capable of taking meter readings and various industrial sensors. Weighing 110 pounds, the robot can carry a load twice its weight. It moves at a speed of 70 inches per second, can tackle stairs, piles of bricks, and walk on slippery floors. One battery charge lasts for two to four hours of work. The FeeFish Ego is the world's first modular underwater drone by Kaisi, equipped with artificial intelligence. It can move underwater in any direction, perform complex maneuvers, and handle various tasks. Its enhanced mobility is as a result of six thrusters. The drone can even do somersaults and move sideways. Its speed is 4.9 feet per second, and it can dive down to a maximum depth of 100 meters. Two powerful 6,000 lumen spotlights provide excellent illumination for quality 4K video recording. The data is stored on a 128GB memory card. With an increased battery capacity, the drone can stay submerged for up to 5 hours. A working tool can be attached to the drone via the bottom connector. It can collect dead fish, detect metallic objects underwater, and measure distances and area sizes. At the Society for Information Display exhibition, Samsung unveiled the new Rollable Flex Display. It's a unique invention that can roll up like a scroll. Thanks to its flexibility, the screen, when folded, takes the shape of a small rectangle, about 1.96 inches tall, but it can unfold into a full-size 10-inch display, surpassing the scalability of foldable screens. This rollable monitor is easy to carry, fitting into the pocket of regular clothing. The company is using the new Flex technology not only for these displays, but also for creating mobile phones that can fold both inward and outward, rotating 360 degrees. Japanese scientists have developed a prototype urban electric scooter called the Arma Scooter that can fold down to a compact size. When folded, this electric scooter can easily fit into a backpack or be carried around the city in one hand. It weighs 10 pounds, making it easy to take on public transport or into the office. The Arma scooter features a 250-watt electric motor powered by a battery. It can travel up to 7 miles on a single charge, which takes a couple of hours, and the battery can be easily replaced if needed. The scooter can support riders weighing up to 220 pounds and has an expanding rear platform for foot placement. When folded, this transformer-like scooter resembles a suitcase and doesn't attract much attention in the city. The Car Wow Blogger organized a drag race between a Tesla and a Hummer. The race featured a Cybertruck with 845 horsepower and 930 newton meters of torque and a GMC Hummer EV with a motor boasting 1,014 horsepower and 1,485 newton meters of torque. On paper, the Hummer seems superior with those stats, but what happened on the track? After the signal, the cars took off, and within a few seconds, the Tesla was already ahead of the Hummer by several car lengths. The Hummer never caught up and Tesla won the race. The secret to success turned out to be the weight difference since the Cybertruck is one ton lighter. In Denmark, a unique three-wheeled bike trainer has emerged that helps with enhanced maneuverability in the city, while strengthening a large group of muscles. Compared to a regular bike, the workout intensity on MeMover is 40% higher, 
Instead of pedals, it uses a stepping mechanism like an elliptical machine, simulating skiing and running. Riding this bike engages the thighs, glutes, calf muscles, strengthens the core and develops balancing skills. Memover has three wheels for improved stability. Thanks to an aluminum frame, the bike weighs just 44 pounds. There's no need to worry about shifting gears while riding as it's automatic. Its compact length makes maneuvering in limited spaces easier. Tubeless tires absorb bumps well, and it's equipped with disc brakes both in the front and back. Innovative smart boxing gloves turn a dull workout into an engaging game, evaluating your personal abilities. Move It Swift works in tandem with an app downloaded onto your smartphone or other devices. Within the boxing gear, there are six axis motion sensors precisely tracking hand positioning and actions. The gloves instantly record your punch speed, force, and calories burned. LED lights on the outside change colors, indicating workout intensity. While it is being used, the data syncs with the app, allowing you to track your progress. The program offers various levels from beginner to expert. You can train at home without a sparring partner. Nicholas Garcia Mayer has proposed a convenient solution for deploying mobile hospitals, camping shelters, industrial research spaces, or refugee camps. The CMAX Foldable Mobile Housing Tent Module is 3 feet wide when folded and expands into a spacious tent measuring 14 feet in length. It allows for standing upright due to its 7-foot ceiling height. Under normal use, it can accommodate up to 8 people. For medical purposes, it can fit four beds with dividing curtains. The module can be transported in any pickup truck. An assembly takes 11 minutes. The tubular steel base unfolds on supports, the tubular frame with crossbars is installed, and the tent is stretched over it. Inside, there are openings for natural ventilation and lighting. There was an interesting incident involving ChatGPT in Brazil. In the city of Porto Alegre, City Council member Ramiro Rosario proposed a useful eight-point bill that forbids charging users for stolen water meters. This relieved the tension building among consumers who had to pay the water and sewage department out of their own pockets for every stolen meter. There were many complaints before this law was passed. Thus, all council members in the city voted for the adoption of this law. Afterward, Rosario admitted that the law's text was written by ChatGPT in just 15 seconds, after a short 250-character text command. How do you like these inventions? If you enjoyed them, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. This is just a small part of what we have in store for you, so stay tuned and be updated on the latest technological advancements.